On this episode of DPV, we're going to revive these Yamaha 4x4s. Yes, we are! Alright, how many of you guys are uh, homeschooling your kids right now? Yeah, with this quarantine thing, um, Got all the all the homeschool stuff, you know, math, working on letters and stuff. Usually shop class doesn't start until you know you're in junior high. But when you're homeschool, we're gonna start shop class right now. We're gonna start shop class by uh, fixing up these four wheels. So this one, the guy I got it from said that the rear end's bad. Um, but also, we gotta clean out the carburetor and stuff. So actually, I just bought a new carburetor for that. This yeah. one, they say the motor's bad, but it sounds to me like it's got good compression and um, we just maybe don't have sparks. So I got a new coil for it. Um, so we'll try that out. I think we'll start with this one because if the rest of the drive chain's good and we can get it to fire off, we can go for riding. All right, so, so far it's pretty simple. Just a few, a few bolts to pull the gas tank off. There's the coil right here. It's on the nails. So we'll pull this coil off and carb's easy to get to right here. So it's gonna be great. Alright, Ains, here's your 13 millimeter. See this nut right here? You gotta um un you gotta loosen that. So you wanna Hook it on there, and then pull up. And you gotta keep doing that. Make sure it gets on there, and pull up. There you go. Keep doing that. Oh, you gotta, you gotta slide off the nut each time, because it's not a ratchet. There you go, and then, oh. And reposition that. Then you wanna reposition all the way at the bottom. There you go. There you go. And then you slide off, reposition. Yeah. Yep, keep doing that until the nut comes off. And then try not to lose the nut, okay? Yeah. Great work. You got it? <laughs> Ainsley just pulled the carburetor nuts off all by herself. It yeah. was working on these cables here. We just about got them. Holy sure how that works. Then I got this. Oh yeah, you got the washer? Okay. <laughs> Alright. And uh I got the coil off. So we're about ready to put some new parts on. Ainsley's okay, so got our new coil there. Yep. Okay. Then I can go on <laughs> Yeah. Right on. Got some new air filters here. And then here's our new carburetor. Why don't you open that up? Alright. Alright, so to get this cable out, so th this cable must be the throttle cable and it slides in there and pulls on this guy right here slides through that tube so you gotta pull this cover off and then undo the cable from right here and it slides right out the top cable i'm gonna have to do some research on what this is but um it basically like, But you just pull this top cover off and uh, it pops right out. No, no clips or anything to undo there. Um, looks like the new carburetor, we'll just pull this cover off and replace it with this one. Alright, yeah, now you can see how the cable runs through there. 
there's this little uh, brass piece that the cable end goes in and when you pull the throttle just like that um, the new carburetor came with uh, a brass you know cable end instead of the old carburetor had a plastic end so I like that better attendance at daddy homeschool is variable It's all good. So, um, I'm actually not going to hook up this cable because um, the way the linkage was inside behind this cover, you pull the throttle, you see that moving in there? It's the same as, watch that. So, I don't think I really need this. It was run through some kind of cable splitter here. Um, so I'm just going to run it like this and tie this up for now. If it ends up running good, I might just like cut this cable off. Alright, the carb is in. Got the new coil in. I thought I was missing this intake tube, but it was just like sitting down in there. So I'll clean this sucker up. Hook that up, put a new air filter in. Then clean out the gas tank and see if we can get this thing running. Spark plug wasn't even tight. Still don't have any spark. There's something electrical going on here. All right, so got fuel, got spark now, got the uh, push button start to work. Um, so <clears throat> there, was, there was like a, sorry, my kids are screaming. One of the relays was bad, so kind of compression we've got here. Well, I'd say that's our problem. Only got about 50 pounds of compression. So, um, gonna have to do a top end kit I guess. So I think that's gonna be it for this episode. Um, if you have any advice on working on these Yamahas, please put it in the comments below because I've never worked on one of these before so um, I've always just kind of worked on cars. So anything we can do to get this thing going would be awesome. In a future episode, we'll try to work on the Moto 4. Um, I actually got this one to fire off before doing anything to it. So um, we'll, put, we'll clean out the fuel system, put that new carb on, uh, and then see if that differential is bad, or hopefully it's just a clutch, because the clutch packs aren't too bad. Differentials seem like they're hard to find. If you have any advice on that, please let me know in the comments below because again I don't know what I'm doing here so um, but it would be fun to have these toys ready to go thank you so much for watching this video like always be sure to like share and subscribe